If at the beginning of the year the export situation in Qantas was not positive, in February there was a growth of 0.19%. This is a positive signal showing that businesses have effectively implemented measures to gradually reconnect with foreign partners despite the ongoing world economic crisis. Rice exports in February have started to grow again. The output is estimated at over 141,000 tons, and the turnover is estimated at over 66 million USD, up 2.34% over the same period. In addition to implement contracts from the previous year, businesses also signed a number of new contracts mainly flat-run rice exported to the Philippines, Ghana, Cameroon, Ivory Coast, and especially the Republic of Korea. Similar to seafood, it is also overcoming the obstacle of lack of raw materials. Export output reached about 29,000 tons, and turnover was nearly 94 million USD, up 11.88% over the same period. Earlier this year, the number of orders was high. Currently, Ngọc Quang Phát Company has signed 25,000 applications. Compare Ngọc Quang Phát in Hậu Giang Province also achieved 15,000 applications. It is expected that in 2023, the company's sale will reach 35 million US dollars, ensuring exports as well as stabilizing the workforce which is expected to increase by 20% compared to 2022. Sales will also increase by about 20% in 2023. Kenter has 170 import-export enterprises, including 67 seafood enterprises, goods are exported to 100 countries and territories in which seafood has been exported the most to Asia, Japan, China, Thailand. America, Brazil, Canada, USA, Europe, the Netherlands, UK, Belgium, Australia. Generally, for the first two months of the year, the total export turnover of Canada has reached 261 million USD, up 0.18% year-on-year. We also maintain traditional export markets such as Japan, Korea, including Europe, export growth in the U.S. market. In addition, Pham Nghĩa Food Company also provides new product lines and deep processed products. The current output of Kim Hưng crops is about 50 to 60 containers per month, with an expectation to exceed 20 to 30 percent. Since the beginning of the year, many foreign customers have come to order, and the company's plan will exceed the output by more than 50 percent compared to the end of last year. However, exporting agricultural products and processed foods such as fruit juice, frozen fruit, dry fruit, canned fish oil, fish meal, rice bran powder, extracted rice bran oil, not stabilized yet. In the past two months, exporting over has only reached about 25 million USD, which is a decrease of nearly 12% compared to the same period of last year. Therefore, it's required that businesses in this field need to make more efforts in seeking new partners and expanding the market.